Assalamualaikum and hello YouTube. My name is Nur Muhammad from Animal Shares and I'm coming to you all the way from Malaysia. So yes, we've got a brand new watch today. This is the, the watch in question is the SNK L45K1. And yeah, before we do a full review for this particular piece, I would do a quick, I would like to do a quick swatch check today. I am wearing my S uh, Seiko SRPA21 or better known as the Seiko, as the Seiko Turtle Paddy Special Edition. So you can see I've done a review for this particular piece quite a long time ago and now it is spotting, I'm spotting it on this very very super super affordable i think it was three dollars <laughs> ship all the way from china this is a canvas strap with this uh metal uh, hole so yeah i would you know what it, it's i've been used i've used the other uh, version for this particular strap on 20 millimeters but i've bought this one just for this particular strap uh, particular watch so i think that looks really really nice okay so let's get to the new watch itself so yes let's see okay so uh, before that we should do a i actually have done an unboxing video for this particular piece but i've screwed up that video so i have to reshoot again so i don't really want to do any another one unboxing video so let's do this just just put it on on the same video right so this is the box that it came with so this is bigger than the standard uh seiko 5 box set i've received by far so we, we only have this um, Seiko warranty card, worldwide guarantee and instruction and inside this have this white box which is weird and because it's very very big there's nothing inside here just a writing Seiko there and of course we have this uh, fluffy cushion and we have the original uh, strap as well so you can see that we have this end link which is a folded end link there's it's not a solid end links and of course you can see that the strap or the bracelet that came with the watch is still in its plastic i don't want to use it or even size it because these things are hair puller it i you see that my my arm <laughs> or my wrist is there's a lot of hair here so if you guys are a woman maybe you could use this bracelet but not for me not for me at all so yeah anyway it is a nice a, stand, a typical standard seiko 5 bracelet where we have this stamp uh, class p here we have this uh nice seiko 5 etching down here and we have this multiple multiple little, <laughs> sorry about that, multiple finishing we have brush and polish center oh yeah, it is at the center link yeah and, and you know what typical Seiko 5 and we have the tag yes the tag which says reference number SNKL 45K1 caliber S7S26 automatic water resist they didn't even put any grade or how many water resist it is but I think they are good for maybe 50 meters right so maybe I'm not really sure what someone else in the YouTube community have done said have said that they have Swam, was it swim, swam or swim? <laughs> Man, forgive my English. My English sucks, dude. Uh, they have swam with it and no problem. Right, so let's put it in the box and see how uh, how is the watch. So let me see if I can get my untrustable, <laughs> untrustable caliper here. Let's see if this thing works here today. Yep, it works. So let's get the dimension out of the way. So first thing first, the dimension, the width of the watch or the diameter of the watch is 37 millimeters. Head there and we have a very, very nice 10.5 millimeters. And from luck to luck, luck to luck is mm -hmm, 41.9 or 42 millimeters, which is really, really small. But as small as it is, I think it is really nice for my um for my 6.75 inch wrist okay so what is so special and why do i decided to get this one okay so yeah let me sh let me show you let me we can i can zoom this thing a bit like so and focus yeah you can see that on this slide the dial is actually not a not a matte black dial it is actually a dark silver and on this super super strong light you can see that it is it does actually have a sunburst pattern to it okay so this model comes with a with three colors snkl 45 come with this black 
or which shall we say dark grey and SF the 43 comes with a blue sunburst style beautiful beautiful blue beautiful uh, blue sunburst style and the SNK L41 comes with a white dial which you know what maybe it has some a bit of sunburst but it doesn't really show because it has a white dial okay so I picked this one just because of that sunburst dial and also that uh, cool fully uh, in fully fully in red uh, second hand and because the let me see if I can move if I can move away this yeah you can see that the date disc or the day date disc is in black so it gives it a much much more symmetrical look <laughs> can I say that symmetrical look to it so there's nothing that is uh, what do you call it um, that that uh, that it it looks symmetrical. It looks nice on my on, on this particular dial. Whereas the blue dial version comes with comes with a uh, bl white colored disc, white colored disc. So that kind of break the symmetry of the dial. So this one looks much better for me at least. Okay. So and we have that um, polish applied baton style indices, which is look which makes this seventy or is it? Eighty dollars. I I think I I got it for about seventy bucks. Uh, seventy dollars watch looks really really nice. Really really more. Uh, which it makes it mo looks more expensive than it really is. And uh, we have that. What do you call this? Um, oh man, I forgot the term. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's some. It looks something similar. The hands look something similar, such as the Saab zero three three, which costs now costs close to $500 watch so you know what I think I think this is my personal opinion right so if you can't if you can't stomach the stomachs the $500 price of that sub 033 get this one instead is this is, will cost you just 7 to 70 bucks right so yeah yeah I now remember the Dauphin style hand Dauphin Dauphin style uh, minute hand and also the hour hand right so and that's that's the first one the first reason why i why i picked this one this this because of the dial right so dial and also this um black uh white on black uh, uh day and day wheel okay so the second reason is you can see that the case design okay your typical your normal seiko 5 such as this one i forgot the reference number for this particular piece you can see that the luck is you know what juts out from this one right so you have a circle here and something jutting out something coming out from the case but this one let me see if I can right but this one is smooth right so it's the, the design is smooth there's nothing that looks like looks out of place and you can see here on this lug you have one surface uh, poly surface and another another angular another surface pol polish surface here and we have a brush surface here so one two three surface right so these type of finishing are only available on higher um price seiko such as the seiko sumo or the or even the seiko sub for that matter right so yes you can see here for a 70 dollars watch you can't beat this seiko 5 well this 80 dollars uh, Seiko 5 I think or I, I think I've got it maybe around that area then the, the, that price so you can see that one but one finishing here and just another one finishing here so that is I don't I don't call it lazy but for me design wise this case design looks much better and you can see that the design itself the lug design is not straight so it has just a bit of bulge here straight and then bulge up a bit and then going down again so red here and bulge up a bit and going down again so man that is really really nice for a $70 swatch okay so yeah let's get to the movement itself so you can see I can still I still have the plastic let's take it off <laughs> yeah let's take it off you can see that this is using the Malaysia Mate 21 Jewel Seiko Time Corporation 7S 26C and it doesn't mention any uh, water resistant whatsoever but I think it is good for uh, 50 meters so 
and again on this particular watch uh, this particular Seiko 5 let's see if this is 7S26C or B ah, yeah. again this is similar so this is 76 7S26C so no no changes there right nothing different so really man oh man I you know what I <laughs> I can't really for the expensive look that it has I think that 70 bucks is money well spent right so yeah you can't beat the Seiko uh, Sub-033 for the 50 hours power reserve you can't beat it for the um, many maybe um, that the loom that is offered by Sub-033 will do a, a loom shot later but this looks uh, as nice as the Sub-033 <laughs> okay so because of that expensive looking dial multiple finishing on the case it looks as nice okay so for those who cringe upon the increased price of the discount discontinued sub 033 do yourself a favor and get this one instead if you don't want the black one go for the blue one snkl 43 those are really really nice okay so let, let's see how it looks on my 6.75 inch wrist oh, by the way I put it on this vintage style rubber strap from Chrysler K-R-E-I-S-L-E-R -E -E this is an 18 millimeter slug with with a flank <laughs> or oh, is it tap I don't know but it gives it more much more symmetry look on it so it gives it more a more of a vintage style look to it so yeah let me see if I can zoom out oh no sorry about that zoom out see how it looks on my 6.75 inch wrist so yeah it, it's not really that bad man not that bad at all so let me see if you can focus in a bit more and come on focus yes you can see it's not really that small looking on my uh, on my wrist okay so yeah I think okay all in all so oh so before we do a wrist swatch <laughs> no a uh, loom shot all in all what is my conclusion for this particular piece so I think this is a an expensive looking watch that will not cost you that much money okay so of course it is small some people would not would not like the 37 millimeters but as TGV or the uh, Trisano from the urban Church channel always said the trend for the watch is coming back to this smaller size or mid-size uh, watch so yeah I think uh, this will would be a, uh, a classy alternative to the sub 033 so yes let's go for that uh, loom shot let's shut off the light here okay so maybe i'm gonna shut off the light down here as well give it a charge a bit of charge and okay nope you can see that there is a bit a wee bit of loom on the hand and on the and on the uh indices but you know what this will fade in just a matter of moment so yeah anyway so this is a dress watch right so you don't really buy it for the loom right so I have for if you want something with a great loom so I have my Seiko turtle over here yeah that is really, really nice so yes so I know I think if you guys find this review is useful please go ahead and give me a thumbs up if you guys uh, want to see more future videos such as this please go ahead and go ahead and subscribe to my channel and if you guys want to uh, don't want to miss any of my future videos please go ahead and push the bell button okay so until next time I'll see you soon bye bye